Welcome back to Nerd Alert 226 Productions and today we are going to be making Borg Acid with Hydrochloric Acid and Sodium Tetraborate. Now do not use muriatic acid, just muriatic acid because that's too strong. Use maybe like, you know, put about maybe 10 milliliters in every 25 milliliters of water. And that will be about the right proportion that you need. And you need some sodium tetraborate, or the sodium tetraborate, it's going to be just normal borax. And, um, yeah. So, and also you're going to need a beaker and an Erlenmeyer flask, just a small one. Okay, now with the distilled water that we're going to be using, I have to heat it up. So let me go boil, let me go boil the water in this flask first. Okay, this is Nerd Alert 226 back, and, and now we are going to make, and now we are going to mix the boiling water with our sodium tetraborate. So now you take, I'm going to go ahead and use my tongs for this, because this is very, very, very hot. So, unfortunately this isn't working. Okay, maybe I'll just have to use my bare hands. Okay, now you have to mix it with your sodium tetraborate. It's only a little bit of it. Just about so it goes to the middle of the beaker. Now you have to mix it. To dissolve all that sodium tetraborate. At least most of it. Yeah, it's more water. Mm, it's hot. bigger beaker for this because unfortunately it's not wanting to dissolve very well. Pour the rest of this water the other beaker. Beaker now that we have all the sodium tetraborate dissolved. Now we gotta add some hydrochloric acid. Now pour that in. Maybe a little bit more. There we go. Okay. Now that we have that poured in there, sodium. Boric acid crystals should start crystallizing out. So it will help it along. It will eventually. But we'll go ahead and help it along by putting it in an ice bath. So let me go get the ice bath prepared. We'll be back. Okay, this is Nerd Alert 226. And I put it in the ice bath, and I don't see any crystals forming yet. But I would have to wait, this has only been like three minutes into the ice bathing process, so I'd wait another 30 minutes maybe, and then they would begin to form. Also, my percentage on hydrochloric acid might be two weeks, so, okay, once I crystallize out, I will, I will come back, so, thank you. Okay, here's my raw boric acid that I've created. It has been vacuum filtered 
unfortunately I was not able to video that because it I it was kind of like both hands on and I don't have a tripod at the moment so here's my raw boric acid I'm gonna allow it to dry and once you allow it to dry you can use it for many things and you could test your own boric acid by putting it in some methanol and then burning the methanol and it should have a very dark green flame or a light green flame okay so thank you for watching how to make boric acid that was a nerd alert 226 productions thank you